Hello, hello. Not sh entirely sure this will work, but hopefully you'll be able to see the cards a little bit better. All right, the, there, there's kind of a lull in the energy right now because Congress isn't back in session until I believe tomorrow. I'm recording this on Sunday. Because things aren't, the subpoenas have been issued and of course Mnuchin of Versailles has blown through two deadlines now about turning over the, turning over Trump's tax returns, which it isn't his business in the first place. Uh, it, it can feel like, all right, it's all just frustrating and nothing's happening. No, no, no. It's, it's just, a, it's just a lull in the energy. It's a, it's a good day to, you know, get laundry done and, you know, clean up and tidy things up and curl up with a kitty uh, or a puppy dog or whatever, whatever your fur of choice is and just talk to, talk to people. So, because it's, things are going to, to definitely change. I also, I have reason to occasionally hear bits and pieces of what's going on on Fox News. Oh, boy. Um, early on, uh, Donald Trump would say things about the media is the enemy of the people and how much he, he hates the Democrats and... All this kind of all this kind of stuff, but even his energy is kind of solidified around these really negative ideas, and a lot of it has to do with the echo chamber that he's in. Because seriously, if you if you have to listen to a certain amount of Fox News, I mean even daytime stuff where you have the occasional person who has some touch of is is sort of somewhat in touch with reality, uh, it's still they're. It's all that the, right now the Democrats, they're over, they've overreached, but not only that, but they know they've overreached. They know, this is a power grab of, of the Democrats and they know they can't do this. Well, it's like, of course they can, they're, they're oversight. And uh, one word comes to mind, Benghazi. And it's not a power grab. They were voted into office to do oversight, but it, it is, it really is bizarro land, but they're not, it's not even like, okay, we can agree that these are the powers of the different branches of government. This is what this branch is allowed to do. This is what these people are allowed to do. This is what that, those people are allowed to do. And this is how these things are working together, whether you like it or not. We could at least agree, you know, this, this, and this. They're not even agreeing with that. Not at all. And things like the fact that Donald Trump, there was just the draft and Donald Trump publicly congratulated the number two pick, overall pick, who has a white man who has made overtly racist comments from what I understand. And Trump congratulated him and did not say a word about the number one draft pick who is African American. That's appalling. But they they don't talk about that, of course. So the question is, and, and you know, I heard that and it was just like, yeah, and, eh, it's a day ending and why? So, so what it comes down to, there's a, there's a real question of if it's, if it's Trump world going to hell in a handbasket, you know, how, how fast is the handbasket falling? Or is it falling? Is this just going to drag on and on and on? And and is he going to succeed in running out the clock? Which is what he's trying to do now. So let's have a look at how are things going to move forward? Is it going to be fast? Is it going to be slow? Are are the Democrats going to actually put some people in jail for contempt of Congress? Or is the Washington DC prosecutor going to cave to Barr's demands that they not listen to the Democrats' demands or, or back them up? 
how how is this going to progress? Because the there are some very frustrated people, and you know, it's just a sense what's what's happening, how this is going to go. Trump's beliefs have really solidified. They have they have really solidified in that echo chamber he is in is incredibly bad for him. Oh, two cards there. It used to be that the, the chief of staff, one of his main jobs would be, of course it was always a man, but one of his main jobs would be to be the one person that can go into the Oval Office and close the door and tell the president hard truths. And nobody does that with Trump. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. And then he listens to uh, propaganda TV and he goes down to Mar-a-Lago where people are filling his pockets in order to just talk to him. Um, and it's, you know, he has absolutely, he, he drank his own Kool-Aid. He, he drinks his own Kool-Aid every single day. So how is this going to go? A lot of rancor. Card for the reading. We're tired. We're all tired. I, I, honestly, I don't think I know anybody who's not tired. So there's that. I'm not quite sure the camera, but everybody's tired. In the past, the Republican Party was supposedly the party of the nuclear family, the white nuclear family. It was family values. It was all about family values, family values in whatever way that was. But this is very much the past. That is not what they're about now. Didn't I just hear that Mulvaney wants to, he's, he wants to get rid of school lunches for underprivileged children? Yeah, don't, please do not tell, do, do not talk to me about being pro-life if you can't give a, a, a small meal to really poor children. Yeah, you cut that and don't tell me you're pro-life. You're a liar. You just wanna control women's bodies. That's, that's not about children. It's not about helping children. Anyway, center of the reading. We still feel trapped, uh, but actually, strangely enough, I am being drawn to the spaces between the swords, as in there is a way through. It isn't, it isn't a solid wall. That there are pathways winding, but there are pathways around that it can lead us back to some semblance of reality. Base of the reading. There's Trump a person and as a person and of course there are jokes I could make about the full card, but his um, Trump's I, I still I still believe I could be very wrong, but I still believe that that he Trump takes something that it's I don't know if it's he's still sniffing Adderall or if he's whatever he's doing, but it, he is, he goes through these extremes and they get worse over time, over the years. And that's what this, this feels like at the base of the reading is his, his arrogance, his belief that he can do anything he wants, but it's also some, some illegal, some illegal prescription drug use. Well, certainly off the off the books or off label or so yeah. above the reading speed movement and movement of the lawyers and they're both major arcana so this is this is what's about to swoop in and it's right above the reading movement of the lawyers like Ride of the Valedictorian. I don't know. Ride of the Valedictorians. I don't know. Okay. Near future. 
Court cases brought against Emperor Trump. This is Trump as the emperor. Uh, because he thinks he's king. He thinks he's an emperor. He's a dictator. He wants to be a dictator. And these are all the court cases that are about to be just dumped at his feet that he's going to have to deal with. And it, this is a 10 card, but it's, it almost feels like tenfold. Whatever you're, you think you're dealing with now is going to come tenfold. SDNY is going to move forward. Co uh, Congress, congressional committees are going to move forward. It's, there's a lot that's about to land on him. Home environment. Tick tock. Again, this feels like fate, but also it feels like time. Kind of enjoy your days in the White House because the image I'm getting in my mind is him being swept out like a giant broom coming, just whoosh, just whapping him in the rear end and out the door he goes. Hopes and fears. Both sides are fearing that the other one is going to be underhanded, that the other one is underhanded, that there will be no way for there to be fair, a fair way to go forward. What other people see, there's going to be a lot, this is, this is people testifying in public in front of congressional committees, very clearly. I can, I can see, you know, I can see all the wood paneling now. And there are a lot of, a lot of people, very key, important people. A lot of questions, a lot going on. All right, final outcome. This is illusions and spokespeople for, for Trump going out to push his view of things the Fox News view of things, Kellyanne Conway's view of things. But you notice this night is going that way, these nights are going the other. This is going after how he's treated people and his money. This is the obstruction of justice, the humiliation of people, this is his finances, personal and business. So there's going to be this split where people are still going on TV with, here, have some of the Trump Kool-Aid. But this is moving. It may not be moving as quickly as this horse, but it's definitely moving. And it's, it's what's going forward. That's good news. But is it going to be a slow process? Is it just going to get mired down in the courts until, you know, 20, you know, 2025 or something ridiculous? There are some people scheduled to testify already, but... Uh, you know, do I go back to reading the novel I was reading and it's like, all right, I'll be back in a week. Uh, because it's just going to be more of the same, or are, are, is there going to be a noticeable shift? I, I've already gotten the sense that everything's going to change once Mueller himself testifies. I think there's going to be a dramatic shift after that, but I'm not entirely sure what. And these three cards apparently really want to come out. Decisions. This is the card of decisions. This is the card of the messenger. This card can mean a number of things, but right now it feels like these are people who have come by to leave evidence for the congressional committees and then go do what they were going to do. Decision about whether to testify, that's a subpoena, that's them coming in, giving what gold they have and walking away. Because Trump, Trump is fight, trying to fight every subpoena, and he's swearing up and down that, like, Don McGahn was, he, he wasn't Trump's personal lawyer. He was the lawyer for the, the, the office of the presidency. But now they're trying to say there's executive privilege. Well, he already waived that. 
before. You can't wait. You, you know, it's like, well, I didn't wave it then, but I'm going to wait. Sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm going to, I didn't invoke it then, but I'm going to invoke it now. It doesn't work that way. More Trump tweets. This is somebody getting hold of his tax returns. And it causing Trump a lot of sleepless nights because his, his business is vast. He has, last I heard, wasn't it like 500 LLCs? And they've all got convoluted finances and things he's done overseas. People he's dealt with overseas that he shouldn't have. This is also evasion, like tax evasion. But whatever, whatever is in this, it, it definitely causes him stress. And we'll see another, we'll continue to see gluts of tweets at 3, 4 a.m. Is it going to affect the people around him? Is it... I'm kind of being drawn toward the kids. The kids are in trouble. The, the Trump finances. The kids are in trouble. That's what I'm getting. And that none of this, it's... I never should have run for president, kind of from Trump. And they're celebrating afterward because it's just been a battle ever since. And Melania's so done. She's so done. But it's been a battle ever since and, and that's what he has to look forward to. He wanted things to be good for his kids and he wanted Ivanka to run for president as well. I have an astrology video I'll be coming out with. I just have to fix some of the audio with it. And then, but it talks about the, the relationship there. It's, it's pretty interesting. But anyway. It feels like things are going to go in different directions. But they're all pincer moves toward Trump. It, people studying the... the kind of forensic accounting of his taxes, his business. And it's already happening because Weis is it Weisselberg, the accountant, has already testified for Mueller. So his, his testimony is going to get out there eventually. The Democrats keeping this in the news not letting the news be hijacked, getting the message to their base. And also the Democrats doing a little bit of things like infrastructure or things that are gonna, going to help people and, and help them get reelected in 2020. They're not letting this go. They are going to do a little bit here and there to help the situation for most people, but they are not letting this go. This is the things they're doing for the people and that they want the people to know, but this is not going anywhere. They are going to dig and dig and dig all the way to China or Russia. So Trump's handbasket, Pelosi, Mueller, higher wisdom, the secrets. That's Pelosi, that's Mueller, these are Trump's secrets. This is the Democrats, She's rep she is the kind of figurehead for the House of Representative Democrats who are in power. And then you have Mueller and then Mueller investigators testifying about the secrets. That's what's coming. And it feels very strong. Very distant. They, these might be the strongest cards in the deck. Just trying to think this through here. I'm definitely going to lay a lot at Trump's feet. But go. This is the Democrats going forward. Yeah, this is this is the strongest. These are the strongest cards in the reading. So 
yeah go uh go do the chores while you can because there, there is some exciting times ahead and it they're not going to let it go and because they enough democrats are not going to let it go and the idea yeah, there was a the, there are all these polls about would you do you want trump to be impeached and it's like 56 percent say no even 56 percent of like democrats say no well yeah i mean it's a it's kind of a dumb question you don't you don't want him to be impeached you want all of the information to be laid out and if it comes down to you have to open an impeachment hearing in order to get that information <sighs> then that's what will have to happen but nobody very few people actually want the president to be just outright impeached even if he could be they want the facts laid out they want the case made they want to see all the information they want someone to they want Nadler to go to a judge to get that grand jury testimony released and to just thump bar in the head for keeping everything so hidden they they want most people want everything laid out because that means as things go forward with everything laid out and not just something we've heard in the news but actual this is this is the evidence piece by piece then if we move forward it does less damage to the country because you can see a clear fox news are never going to see a clear thing but that's to be expected so stay strong keep breathing and uh yeah get out your popcorn all right and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and thank you so much to my patrons i could not do this without you all right hang in there